A WARNING FOR PARENTS AND TEENAGERS. BE MINDFUL OF WHAT IS POSTED ON SOCIAL MEDIA. WHAT ONE GROUP OF MIDDLE SCHOOL CHEERLEADERS IS ACCUSED OF POSTING NOW HAS POLICE TAKING A MUCH CLOSER LOOK. THEY ARE ACCUSED OF HARASSING ANOTHER GIRL ON THE TEAM. Yeah, AND NOW THEY'RE UNDER INVESTIGATION BY POLICE. WLWT NEWS SOUTH KAREN JOHNSON HAS MUCH MORE ON THE INVESTIGATION FROM BLANCHESTER TONIGHT. And this could be a lesson for all students, no matter what district you attend. Be careful what you post on social media, even if you're just chatting among friends. What a group of Blanchester Middle School cheerleaders is accused of doing now involves police and possible criminal charges. When you uh, talk about threatening somebody or hurting somebody, uh, yeah, we want to get the law enforcement involved. And that's exactly what Blanchester schools did when they were tipped off to what some student athletes wrote in a Facebook chat. Dean Lynch, superintendent of Blanchester schools, asked not to have his face on camera, but says a few 13 and 14 year old cheerleaders violated the athletic code of conduct. And now police are considering harassment charges. I do know that the content uh, of the text was very, very inappropriate, very, very hostile. And um, it was no question it was directed to one student. Administrators say they also notified the victim's mother, who had no idea other cheerleaders threatened to harm her daughter. The district says cheerleaders have since admitted to writing hostile messages about another member of the squad and seem to be remorseful. The harassment took place while students were still on summer break just prior to their return yesterday. And it's just a reflection of what happens at, after school or during the summer months. It has an effect on education. The superintendent says the cheerleaders were disciplined, although he didn't elaborate. He says from what the administrative staff can tell, this was an isolated incident, therefore did not rise to the level of bullying. He says if the victim's parents feels like there may have been another incident, they can always come in and file a report, which he says has not been done yet. In Blanchester, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5. Blanchester police say they do not believe the victim ever received any of the messages directly and they don't believe anyone was ever in danger.